I was watching uh, Dale No Limit Soldier, the video that he just recently put out. He's talking about the tires on my uh, GMC Acadia. They're top-notch the tires. <laughs> I mean, the, the rims are top-notch, but let, let's put that aside for a second. You notice how he never, ever proves anything. I keep telling him all the time. I said, is that your car? Well, you know, there's ways that, that you could, you know, he doesn't want to show his name. Okay. You see, the problem is all these people, they live in like this secret world. Everything is like a secret. You know, it's kind of like what's happening with AMC, with the synthetic shares. Like everything is a secret. That's how, that's what happens with Dale. <laughs> no limit soldier. Everything is a secret. You know, we, he doesn't want us to know his name, his address. So basically, what's great when you live in a world of secrets like Dale you can make a lot of claims. You know, you can make all types of, I own my house, you know, I own this car, I own this, I own that. But you see, it's all secret. So, you know, we, we, it's kind of like, it's his word against uh, our word. You don't know, you know, as far as I know, you don't own nothing, Dale. You, you, you know, it's your father's house. You live there. Your father bought you tools that you use in a very disgusting manner on yourself to give you pleasure. You know, you have a car that looks like it's uh, from the 80s. You, you, you know, most likely either that car was bought from your father or it's leased from your father or financed. Okay. But, but, but basically, you know, Dale, it's like, you just keep talking. I, I just, you wonder what it is. Look, it's fun once in a while to go back and forth with this guy, but it does get a little played out. It gets played out because it's like, Dale, at some point you, you got to stop talking and, and start showing, show some cash, should prove that you're some kind of a man. You know what I mean? Go like like go out for a three hundred dollar dinner. You you pay for the dinner. You follow me. Take out the the three hundred dollar bills. Tip the waitress a hundred dollars. You know, like just do something because you try to come across like you're this sex uh, successful guy. But but it's like Dale. I, I, I mean, it, it, there's absolutely no evidence. To even think that you could afford to buy your own dinner. That's why I made the joke about the peanut butter and jelly sandwich, which I ate after a $300 dinner at Zato's. And I tipped $100 to the waitress. But but the thing is, it's like, at some point, it's the same thing. It's like, you remind me of Lou. It's the same thing with like Lou. He points his phone to an SUV. Then he's walking in the streets. It's like, bro, you, you just come across like a big time loser. You come across like you're living off daddy, your daddy's little boy. You know, it's like, you know, like, you know, I can imagine your father paid for a, a sweet uh, 16 for you. You know how normally that's for a girl, but in the case of, <laughs> in the case of Dale, his father paid for a sweet a 16 for Dale. I mean, the guy is just pathetic. You're pathetic, man. You are a pathetic excuse of, I can't even call you a man. So I'm just going to say daddy's little boy. That's it. This video is not financial advice. I am not a financial planner. This video is not legal advice. I'm not an attorney. This video and all my videos are for entertainment purposes only because that's what I am. The world's greatest entertainer. The one, the only, ape father in the house, baby. What?